This is true too. Why is she not sad that her father is dead? Like she is not sad one bit. And even if she lives in her dream world, she would she should realize that dead is dead, right? Dead is dead. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes. It is decisive testimony. <laughs> Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. Alright, Mr. Right. Let's go. A silhouette. I can't believe that I have my old camera back on. Yikes. But with the new light lighting, I feel like this is good. Like, look at this. There's no like. It was a bit far away. Why is that? And how did the new case start? Oh yeah, you don't know that. So, we are in the circus now. Um, the circus director, the ringmaster, um, he was killed with a hit on the head, or on the neck, with a blunt object. And the magician is... They all blame the magician that he did it. And there were only one pair of footprints in the snow, so someone fly through the air to commit murder. And the magician can't do that, apparently. He, he does he does fly in his, like, uh, show. And the magician is an arrogant man. And everyone in the circus hates him. Uh, we heard a testimony from a guy with a puppet and the puppet has like his own will I guess I don't know like he has like a he's like shits, he, schizophrenic I guess I don't know like this puppet is like his inner persona right so he speaks up he speaks up for him so this was interesting so we had a testimony with a puppet and uh, now we have a testimony from a clown the clown hates the magician too and everyone is blaming the magician so let's see what's going on don't you think that you're going a little overboard with how explicit you'll be? That shadow belonged to Max. It's an awful firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers live is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not the kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. Hmm. Yeah, they they saw all the the rope. Yeah, they they saw the rope and the hat, uh, the the cloak and the hat. Yes, Trilo said the same thing. But if it just was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbols and worn them? I thought of that myself. But just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. Hmm, you're sure of that? Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. Silk hat. He just said he saw his face, right? You're sure that it was that is that is eh, I can't read you're sure that is what you saw that, that night Exactly what I said. I just I saw I saw I Saw is exactly what I saw. I've got eyes like a hawk uh, Don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all I see. I, that's not all I saw his face was silhouetted you were able to see that kind of detail from your window? Did someone killed by magic sounds like a really interesting, complicated case. So far it's like only weird and it's like Alice in Wonderland. So everybody's like mad or like crazy in some sort. OBJECTION! There was a light 
near the scene of the crime. Anyone with decent eyesight should have been able to see that much. Yeah. Yeah, this hasn't been addressed in the courtroom. I, I, I also feel that, yeah. Out of curiosity, Mo, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out of my left eye and an eagle out of my right eye. All records say his eyesight is perfect 2020. That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Hmm. But he can because it's cold outside. Hmm, the more we look into this matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Ah, uh, you asked me what my eyesight was was like. Not what I what it actually was. Huh. Let's see. So you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That's correct. I've been curious to know what causes that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly ha hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to found f to, to, to know for sure. They claim it was a blunt object. At least it says so in the autopsy report. What if the what if what if the box is the killer is the murder weapon guys? What if the box itself was the murder weapon and the pepper for some reason inside the box was used for some sort of contraption to maybe you know like comical like hang hang the wooden box high up so that it like crushes down? Yeah, he was, the, the side was cut to the sna snowfall, but there was no snowfall. The snowfall was only until 9.45. We uh, had this, and the murder took place at 10.15, so there was no snowfall. Snowfall at the time of the crime. For sure. With Trilo's uh, testimony and now Moe's... Yeah, why not? Why, 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 why could... I mean, there is no blood, right? So this is like a blunt object falling onto or someone was hitting with it and it was very 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 heavy and it was a very 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 loud noise. So um, why not the box? Because you know like if you can't find the murder weapon um, it could be that the murder weapon is there you know because there, there's no blood on it. Nick you've got to find a contradiction in this. It's not going to be enough. But I have to prove that Mo saw someone other than Max last night. Huh. But how? How was the box transported? Yeah, this is true too. How can I contradict stuff here? Oh yeah! Oh, uh, can I ask him? Hmm, okay, I wondering, I, 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 I wonder if I can, like, address the box to this too, because if he only saw the director and let's say Max for now or, or the murderer uh, where's the box at? where's the box at right now? the ba the box must have been there because the freaking ringmaster is lying on the box when he was dead You sure? Okay. Hold it. 
Don't you think that you are going a little overboard with this? How ex explicit you've been? Yeah. So we have to find a contradiction here, huh? Huh, I guess I save. I feel, I think this is the statement I want to press right now. Let's save. Um... Let's read this. Nick, you're gonna find a contradiction in this. I have to prove that Mo saw someone other than Max that night. I have to prove that he saw someone else. How do, do I do this? How do I do? Yeah, the, the, the head was found at the crime scene, yes. Maybe, yes. Maybe, yes. What evidence do we have? Made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulous found at the crime scene. We have the poster, we have the freaking broken bottle. We have the, we have the monk monkey. Ring. Death. A wooden box. And the freaking pepper. Yeah, I guess I present the silk hat here now. I go through this again. It was light at the crime scene, yeah. I tried. Was a bit far away. Could only be belong to Max. What's on the poster? The poster is Max too. Like this is the poster of Max. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what. Again, this is like a this is like a perfect example for. Yeah, he's like telling, it was Max, I saw the symbols, I saw the hat, I saw Max, fuck you. And my character's like, yeah, I should prove that this is not, the, not, not, you know, he saw another man. I have nothing. I have nothing. And my character's like, yeah, I should like, no, there's no contradiction in this. We should like, prove that there could be another person. How? Like, what? This is like, this is like getting stuck in this game. This is getting stuck. It's when the game don't, or when the game expect you that you're so smart, like Five Head. Tell me.
어. 어. What? Because the cloak is not black? No, because he is not mentioning the rose. What? So, I can do this? Because he only mentions two? What? Thank you for the help, but this is the only help I want to in this course, uh, in this. So you say you saw all symbols. I suppose so. The silky hat and the cloak, right? Huh. Huh. Because he's shortened. They were all there. All symbols were there. No, this is a contradiction because you only mentioned two. What? Okay, let's go. Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactic has three symbols. Three symbols. Everyone get 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 ready. All together now. Silk hat, cloak, and white roses. I don't ha I ha I hate this. Yeah! He saw what he saw. And he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Yeah! Isn't that right, Mo? That was a grammatical trap, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is like... This is... This is like a thing that they do once in a while. This will not happen again in this case, I guess. When they just do like this weird, yeah, you know, they said this, and I know, they said and they talked about the three symbols, the whole case now. And he's like, yo, two. And he, no, he, he's like, he's like only mentioning two. And then they, he says like, they are all there. All means more than these two, but he's only, you know, counting them because you heard these three all the time but no it is a clear contradict clear contradiction by the way clear contradiction <laughs> ah ah let's go order mo you didn't see the roses did you to be honest there weren't any roses on the person i saw Crime scene was dark. It's obviously, it's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. Objection. No, you said it was not dark. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could not, he could have missed them. You know, because it's snowy outside. Objection. Something white in the snow would be like, you know, you know. Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Or not, Mr. Wright. Are these white flowers truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He's just toying with his cord. I got her on the on the ropes now. I got her. These seemingly insufficient facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Robert. Someone is toying with the cord, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. That crazy getup. 3 p. Yeah, see, again, like, did they told us, like, one million times three symbols. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not mad again, but I am. Trudeau saw them all. Trudeau saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Yeah, but what? Yeah, but but yes, but why? Hmm. Now, what I'm what I'm supposed to think? What is supposed to disregard the pointless? But this, judge, forget the roses. Think about this, his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. 
Nothing else matters. Matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's ca case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. This is true. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that of that for my pace of mind, peace, peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. But if there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling. Heck, this is our last chance, I guess, yes. The Silhouette Part 2 There is no doubt in my mind. There were, an, there were no white roses that night. However, all of the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There is no way I could forget seeing the, de the, decoration, the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one, just one chance. I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you are going to prove to me with a contradiction with Mr. Kurt's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I guess they're going for the hat now. I guess they're going for the hat now, huh? I've only got a single shot as this. I've got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. Can I cross it? Can I, can I press him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, be honest. Ow! You promised, Mr. Wright, no more badgering. I hope you enjoy this. Yeah, so no questioning either. This was not clear. <laughs> Good. I mean, it's okay, right? But I wanted to, like, get more information. Not that this is like, yeah, but you know, he, he didn't watch the whole scene. Uh, duh. Yeah. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yeah, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Oh, Miss Von Karma, where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask this question? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contra contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Oh, that's not true. It is true. Order, Mr. Curls. Yes, your honor. What is the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Do I have to make a break soon? Yeah. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. That's not right here. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why just... just...
No matter how old I get, I will always be younger than you. Okay. Yeah, this is my feeling right now. Enough of this! He's like, Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Kurtz! How do you think you are? How, how do, who do you think you are? I saw him, I swear I saw him, it was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. Turned into a, a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He, he left the scene wearing the dumb hat. He was there. He left the scene. What's the matter, Nick? I was ready to read the judge again. Oh, oh. There's something I've been mumbling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? Yeah. Look, I look how look I slap this paper. Do you like it? I need some, you know. I need some compliments right now. This case is rough. You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene for of the crime? What uh he uh he went. What do you mean how did he leave this the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection! You can't ask. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection! You shush now. Yeah. Slap the table to shush you. This witness testimony is so full of holes, Miss von Karma. Miss von Karma's protest is useless. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm feeling lost. But I will move. I will keep moving towards the light. This is the good thing, right? I have to keep moving towards the light. Good. You got a point. Let's see what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did we, he leave the crime scene? The answer is obviously, he just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected, you'd say. You're sure that's how it happened? What? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do laugh to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter... I guess I get I get it, I get it. Is this the right picture? It is the picture. It is only one footprint. Hey, Vindel. Hey. Ah. Huh? Doing good today? How was your night? How was your day? We're doing court again. And if you're referring to this guy, I guess you mean me. And in this pyramid that is not a hexagon, but it is the best part of the hexagon is the pyramid, so. You know. I welcome you. Behave yourself today, okay? Good. I have enough bullshit in this game right now. Puppets are talking to me in court and clowns and apes and monkeys. Water painted tigers. Good. Take that! <laughs> I meant the clown. <laughs> Good to have you here. Look at this picture. He's dead. <laughs> Clearly, he's dead. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints in this photo. <laughs> should he? Should we like? Should we like? Should we like high five now? Is this a high five moment? I just. Hexagons are best seconds. I don't know if this was like. <laughs> Good, congrats. It's a good, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so, it's good though. It, 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 you know, it's good. See? All good. 
did. Good. In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ay -ay 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 -ay. I have to, you know, make my break soon. But So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Oh, he, uh... Your Honor. This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of his witnesses' testimony from the court record. I agree. Wow! The clown, the clown went only to blame him, huh? This clown's testimony is a, is as rickety, rickety as the clown car he came into court in. Wait just a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. Oh my god, no. You wait a second. I think you said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence Kurtz, yes. The testimony you've provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I saw I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Huh. Yeah. Order! I will have order! Francisca von Karma, how could you? He's like, yup, I did this, your honor. If you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the you you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? Not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen of what he has to say. Obey the whip. <laughs> More wine, two hour time skip, we sleep. Huh. Long movie night, I guess. Schlong, schlong movie night, as I can see. I see. Like some of uh, and And like, after more wine, she was like... Oh no, he's hot! Okay. <laughs> now then, let's hear the truth about what... You say you saw. Huh? What? Can we not talk about this? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can like loot down a little bit. Loot down, loot down. You don't have to brag about your, you know, things. It's good. It's good. I, I, you know, it's it's a good thing. Again, everyone needs something sometimes. So everything is cool and all. But don't get too detailed because <laughs> you, you traveled through time. Yes, good, good. Again, I have nothing against this by any means. But again, privacy is like one thing that I, you know, it's like it's like. Meh. Uh, I have this, I have this feeling, uh, you can, yeah, but you know what? I shush now, I shush now, I shush now, I shush. And as long as nothing is like harm me personally in chat, or like feelings from, of anybody, I shush, okay? So go on, we listen. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, you're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want you to get banned. No, I shush. <laughs> no, I shush. I can't get banned. Try not to waste your time, our time with your idiotic dri drivel. 
drivel let's go the truth finally after 1000 testimonies now it's time for our next segment monos everything that i've set up until now has been the truth more or less when i looked out the window the ringmaster was down and max was standing above him he wasn't wearing his white roses but he was wearing the silk hat that's when i saw he this pff, yeah oh yeah i made a gift once this is the truth now get ready for it he flew he jumped up and flew through the air he flew right off the and disappeared into the darkness. The darkness. There is a loot chat? I don't know, maybe. That's why there were no footprints flying people. Don't leave footprints. <laughs> there is a loot chat. People get like, oh. That's the reason why you love me. Yeah. Thank you. I love myself too. I told I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was uh how do you put this into words? Maximilian uh, Galact Galactia Maximilian Galactica is a world class magician. But to leave the scene of a crime by flying, there is no way that actually happened. That took a moment? Yes. You. You're right. I take my time now. Like, you, you don't know, maybe you don't know me before I was like, going in English. Before that I was like, super hasty and I, I, wanted, I wanted to press like gameplay and all that crap but now we can like take moments and I can take moments and I can I can like make room for like funny haha and uh, other stuff I want to talk about and I don't feel stressed anymore <laughs> why is she right you believe the other witnesses why won't you believe me, especially since it's the best part of the story? Mm. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Riot? No. Telling the truth, he has to. <laughs> there is a loot chat, but not in my server. Oh. But am I invited to the loot chat? Am I invited to the loot chat? I don't know. What <laughs> what he just said was so strange. I don't think he would have made... I mean, it's not polite to, like, exclude people, right? So, think about that. I, 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 you are welcomed here, too. Well, you, you welcomed here, too, so I don't know. Which means... That he is telling the truth. That's what I think. Nick, wait. That means that Max actually used magic. Yikes, you're right. Ow. Only a foolish looking fool could be fooled by such a foolish fool's foolish dream. God damn it. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. Is it game over time? Oh no. Good. I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that. But I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this time. At this point, it's an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Huh? huh? I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned, and you go home now. Go home now.
You murdered the chat? You can't murder my chat. What are we doing as a community now? <laughs> what are we doing as a community now? No, I will, no, no, I, I just talked to, you know, you welcomed and all that, but I will, you know, I, I will exclude myself on that. Good. Hey, sweeties. What in the world is, what? The chatting, oh, the chatting. Oh, the chatting, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Wonderful chatting. You should do that. That's what I want to know. Chatting can no harm nobody, right? They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulous stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist. Hoist me. Hoist me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret of your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break the a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. Wow. That's a man. <laughs> Yo, this is a man. This is a man. This is Maximilian, not Pegasus. This is Maximilian, uh, other guy. Maximilian Galactica. Yeah, yeah. And he's like a magician. Um, I will do a quick break because I feel like we all need a break right now. And uh, after that, I will question my life. And then during, sorry, during the break, I will question my life. So you get, session is adjourned.